Good morning, Lesha High School. I'm your host, Elizabeth Whitfox. And I'm your host, Rohan Padmakumar. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the very first episode of Lesha TV, TV, sponsored by SPA. Lesha TV is Lesha's first ever news show produced entirely by students for students. We aim to highlight events and activities going around here at school, while at the same time airing segments we hope will entertain you. So if you have a segment idea, or if you want Lesha TV to come to you, email lesher underscore TV at leshaschool.org. And now here are some announcements. Starting off, our annual block party will be next Wednesday at 6 p.m. The theme this year is the Roaring Twenties. Come preview the musical Chicago, take part in the arts and games, and enjoy the food. But if you aren't able to make it, don't worry. Our very own Luscious TV reporters will take you behind the scenes so you can see the performance, food, and music right from your phone. Next, a reminder that Thursday is a late start day. Students should report to class at 9 a.m. And even better news, the following Friday, students have no school. Now, our CA Visual Arts students just came back from a three-day trip to Washington, D.C. Let's take a look at how it went. Or Mr. Walter, our podium pounding, candy distributing AP Gov teacher. What you might not know is he's a man that comes with a plethora amount of valuable life lessons that might help you when you get to college. Roll the clip. College Tips with, with Walter. Yeah. Welcome to College Tips with Walter. Tip one shower caddies aren't lame. And instead of bar soap, try using body wash and a loofah instead. It exfoliates. Also, tip number two, make sure you hang up your wet towels. Bacteria multiplies at a rate 27 million times faster than when hung, probably. This has been College Tips with Walter. Thank you, Coach Walter. I'll be sure to have my loofah and body wash at the ready. And finally, let's talk about football. Last Friday, Lesha played against Newman, and even in the rain, we still had an amazing turnout. Before our football correspondents Gordon and Dorothy take you back to the game, have you ever wondered what our football team does to prepare for the games? Well now you'll find out because our very own Lusher team correspondents will take you behind the scenes. I'm Annabelle Morrison and I'm here today with the Lusher Charter School football team for their big game tonight against Newman. Chris, what position do you play? I play quarterback. Nice. Jeremy? Uh, wide receiver. Cool. Are you nervous about today's game? I am not nervous. I believe we can win. Good spirit. What do you think? No, I'm not nervous. I believe if we if we all just come together as a team, we'll do good. We'll do good. Perfect. Um, we get some bread. Eat healthy. Just broccoli and bread. Just broccoli. Like when I <laughs> when I mean just broccoli. <laughs> Well, our mindfulness and meditation moment is uh, kind of something that one of my old coaches did for us. We just do it kind of to um, set our intentions on you know, exactly what we want and what we're trying to do for the day. Usually it's a form of uh, community just to you know, bring everyone on one heartbeat, one breath and come together to start the, the evening out and, um, and then just be mindful and, and kind of visualize um, you know, what's going to happen in the game and kind of see yourself doing what you do fundamentally and just within uh, the game and the atmosphere. So hopefully when it happens, uh, it would slow the moment down and they can be more effective. Good food and mindful meditation. That's how you do it. And now over to Gordon as he takes us to the game last Friday. Hi, I'm here reporting live. This is Gordon Bothwin here at the Breeze Lumley Field as Lusher takes on Newman. Here, it is rainy, but we still have a great turnout here with the crowd and you still hear the spirit. Here behind me, you hear the cheerleaders cheering the crowd having a big roar. As the game kicks off, let's see how people are feeling tonight. Hi, how are you feeling tonight? <laughs> Hayes. Yes. How are you feeling tonight? Do you think that your Lusher Lions are going to win? I don't know. I'm just wet. What's your name? 
Uh, Cameron. Okay, Cameron. Uh, it's raining and you still came out. Uh, can you describe why? Well, like, uh, my, like honestly. Yeah. Oh, my parents are kind of working late, so I didn't. Have do you know how many football players? Have? I do not. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> what is your hope for the Lusher football season? Honestly, again, I hope that we like succeed and all that because. Uh, I think we, we got it in us to win. Thank you so much for your time, Cameron. And now let's take us to our Viking session stand, sponsored by Raising Canes. As you can see right here, we have the Canes Lemonade and Tea, sponsored by Raising Canes. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. If you don't mind me asking, what did you get from the concession stand just now? Uh, hamburger. Hamburger? Yeah. What kind of condiments do you uh, are going to put on it? What am I going to put on it? Yeah. Um, mustard, that's it. Mustard? Great choice, great choice, great choice. What are you planning on getting? Candy. Candy? What type of candy? The kind with sugar on it. The kind with sugar on it? <laughs> what are they uh, cooking back here? So we have fish, fries, and some fried chicken. Fish, fries, and fried chicken. Yeah. Sounds very delicious. Every game. Every game. Tracy cooks it up for us. And we have our lemonade sponsored by Raising Canes. Yes, Canes is our biggest sponsor. They give us 100% proceeds to the football team, so we're doing great. We're doing great. You heard it here first. Now let's take a quick break and head on to Dorothy as she tests how well our students know their football team. Hi guys, Dorothy here, your football fanatic. We're going to see how much Lusher students really know about football. Maya, can we ask you a couple questions about football? How much you know? Okay. First question. Who is the father of American football? What? Abraham Lincoln. That's a great answer. Um, I... George Washington. You know what? There's a theme of founding fathers. It was Walter Camp. Wow, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know who that was. Me neither, honestly. Next question. What, how many cows do you think it takes to make one NFL season's worth of footballs? 30 million. I'm gonna sling like three? 2,000. How would you feel if I told you it was 600? Oh. Uh, uh, yikes. Wow, I was really off. How many years did it take for the Saints to go into the playoffs and win their playoff game? Wild guess, uh, 13 years. Pretty long time. It was 32. What? Are you serious? I really didn't think it would be that. Okay. You know, after quizzing all those people, it's pretty obvious that I am the only football fanatic at the school. But to the next guy to see if people get better. Back to you, Gordon. Thank you, Dorothy. Here, we're 10 minutes in, and Newman is up 14 to nothing. But... Our school is better anyway. I'm open. Say, oh boy. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. Oh, he said, play with me. Hey, y'all want to play with me? Please play with me. Yeah, we not going to lose. 42 0. We coming back. That's for sure. On phone, them. We coming back. We not giving up. We never giving up. Lion Pride. You heard it here, folks. Hey, you hear the spirit here in the crowds. They ain't gonna lose. We gonna come back. We're gonna make a comeback. Even though it is 42 nothing. Do you feel that the the football team can make a comeback from this? You know, anything's possible. Anything's possible. Muhammad Ali said, impossible is nothing. You heard it, impossible is nothing. There we go. <sighs> Alright. The game just ended. The score. Um, unfortunately, we didn't win. Um, 
52-0. It was a tough loss, you know. But even through that, uh, sometimes we can, you know, reveal some things in some people and, and real, real character. But to know that uh, all the guys that were involved, you know, played their heart out and gave it their all um, throughout and, and kept fighting uh, was, was a pleasure to see. And uh, I would definitely know we can build off of it. And build off of it we can. Thanks, Coach JJ. Also, a huge shout out to all the students who wore blue and gold in support of our team. I even heard somebody lost their voice from cheering for the team so hard. You guys really wanted spirit. I think we should send someone to cheer up Gordon though. I'm already on it. Okay, folks, uh, that's all we have for this week. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Lusher TV. I'm Elizabeth Woodfox. And I'm Rohan Bukmukma. See, See you next Friday. Friday.